Hello and welcome friends to 5 minutes engineering. In today's video we are going to see and understand what is CRC. That is cyclic redundancy check. A very popular method in computer networks to detect any error in your data. But how it is performed? What are the things that are going behind the CRC that we are going to do uh, understand in this particular video. So let's start and what are the required things? What are the required things? These are the two very important required things. That is first of all the data that we want to send from sender to the receiver. Okay. And this is a simple 4-bit data and a generator polynomial that's what one thing we need a generator polynomial and it is in front of you but we cannot use it as it is we need to convert it into binary digits like zeros and ones but how to do that so for that you just focus on the coefficients just focus on the coefficient so what's the coefficient of x cube it is one after x cube what should be coming x square but it is not visible there x square is not visible that means its coefficient is 0. So for x square we are going to take it as 0 here because x square is not present. After x square x is coming and x is present there. That means its coefficient is 1. After that we have only remaining 1. So this is what our generator is and now we are going to use it. So what we are going to simply do is that count the bits of the generator. How many bits the generator have? Okay, now this is all the thing that I am saying now. It is at the sender side. Now we are doing all the actions now at the sender side. So just look up to the number of bits of the generator. There are four bits. There are four bits. So if there are n bits, okay, if the generator bits are n, then what you have to do, consider n minus one zeros. You have to append one minus one zeros at the end of your data. Means like this, one, 1 0 1 what it is it is your data after that n minus 1 zeros are to be appended after their data now what is the n it is equal to 4 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 so that means 3 zeros are going to be appended at the end of your respective data after you get this you need to just divide this you need to just divide this with the generator bits with the generator bits that is one zero one one divide it means what we have to do we have to at each step follow the xor we have to follow the xor what is xor what is the nature of xor it's pretty simple if it is one one zero zero one zero zero one so what should be the result what should be the output if they are similar then the result will be zero if they both bits are dissimilar means one is one and other is zero uh, first one is zero other one is one so in both the cases it's going to be one so this is the simple procedure of xor logic that we have to follow during this whole procedure okay so let's start with it and just put this respective term first here one zero one one that's what we simply do when we are trying to divide something okay but here we have to follow at each step this xor behavior that means one one means what it is zero one zero means one zero one means one and one one means zero same nature we have to similar just put a zero dissimilar just put a one simple as that okay now we have generated this now just take all those remaining zeros also down like this okay after that, what we are going to do is that again place this term, place this 1, 0, 1, 1 here. Okay. After that, the same thing we have to just perform it. 1, 1 is 0. Okay. This is 1 again. This is 1 again. This is 1 again. And this is 0. Repeat the same process. Take again here. 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Like that, just take 1, 1. It is equal to nothing but 0. This is 1. This is 0. And this comes to be 1 and 0. Simple. Again, take it. What do you get? 1. 0 1 1 so what is remaining 0 0 0 and 1 i hope you got the point okay so you have to stop it here okay after you stop here what we need to do is that just focus on the last n minus 1 bits of your remainder means from the this side okay now what's this side from my side it's left from your side it's right okay so from your side i will tell from the right hand side you have to just focus on n minus one bits of your remainder okay that means these are the bits these are the bits you have to focus on that is zero zero one but what we are going to do of this we are going to just place these instead of zero zeros so initially we were not knowing what should be the remainder what should be the digits that should be placed up here to encode this data and send it from the sender to the receiver Okay, but now we have got the answer. What should be 
instead of three zeros it should be zero zero one and that's what we do we simply put here zero zero one and whatever this data is now it is ready to be sent it from sender and to the receiver and this is now an encoded format it's an encoded data okay you can say now this is going to be going from sender to the receiver now let's understand what happens at the receiver end okay pretty simple procedure again the receiver will let's say receive the exact data okay exact data whatever was here it is being received by the receiver now again the same procedure would be followed at the receiver side because generator will also be available at the receiver end also okay so we'll have one zero one one here also correct same procedure would be repeated again keep this one zero one one here this is zero this is one this is one this is zero again just keep it take this down one zero one one again do the procedure same one 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 zero one again take it one zero one one this is zero this is one this is zero and this is one and this is one again take it one zero one one what it gives zero 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 and zero and when you get this when receiver encounters a zero receiver is very happy why he is happy or she is happy it can be anyone because because there is no single error in whatever the data that is being received by the receiver there is no single error not even a bit error whatever the data that was intended by the sender to send was exactly received by the receiver at the receiving end i hope you got the point there is no single error in this but but let's say let's say if this bit got manipulated corrupted from 1 to 0 let's say okay that means there is some error okay that means there is some some problem some sort of problem is there because the data that was sent was this and received was this one bit was getting you know so let's see what the result comes okay so we need to just update these values nothing else and this is involved in the last step only okay so what will be the answer everything else will be zero but this will be one what do we mean by this there is a bit error receiver will understand that there is a bit error because one single bit was i think modified corrupted or something has happened to the data but one bit error exists so in this way the receiver end will know whether there is any kind of error in your data or not if all are zeros there is no error if there are some kind of in the remainder in the final remainder at the receiver end if there are the zeros are not there if some other bits are like you know in this case like this if this state exists at the receiver end that means there has been some error in your respective data and it is specifically a bit error i hope you got this point i hope you understood about what cyclic redundancy check do and if you found this video informative do like it and share it with your friends thanks a lot friends for watching this video